Hello, welcome to PS Science at Home. My name is Mr. Richmond and I'm here to talk to you about seed dispersal, which is the process of seeds getting far away from their parent plant so they have space for them to grow. Okay, so specifically today we're going to be looking at the maple tree seed because it's a very special seed in that it has these two blades on it which allow it to fly through the air like a helicopter. It spins as it goes through the air and that allows it to travel. It can actually travel up to two miles away from the tree that it came from. So what we're going to be doing today is building a paper version of a helicopter which, is, which mimics the, the seed of the maple tree. Okay, so at the end of this video you should have one of these which when you drop it from a height it will spin like so. So all you're going to need to do this today is a few supplies. First of all, you're going to have this diagram cut out of our paper helicopter, which you should have in the lesson materials. Okay, next up we're going to need a small paper clip, and the only other thing you'll need are some scissors. All right. Now, you'll see on this cutout in this diagram, you have solid lines and you have dotted lines. Okay, the solid lines are where we're going to be cutting with scissors. The dotted lines are where we're going to fold. Okay, so let's start by cutting. You'll see in between the A and B is a solid line, so let's cut that line first. Alright, so it should look like this. You have your two flaps at the top. Okay, next up we're going to cut the solid lines that are above C and above D. Okay, so let's do that. C and D. So you have this cut up here, you have two small cuts here. Okay, now next up what we're going to do is we're going to look at C and D. And you'll see these long dotted lines going up and down. We're going to fold along that line. And I'm going to fold it to the back of the paper. So I'm going to fold this over. You try to get it as straight as you can, but it's not the end of the world if it's a little crooked. Okay, so C I have now folded to the back, and I'm going to do the same thing with D. Folding this over to the back. So now it should look like this. Okay, now right below D you'll see this dotted line. We're going to do one last fold at that dotted line, just folding up a little bit of paper at the bottom, like so. And that gives us a nice bit of paper for the paper clip to attach to. I'm going to take my paper clip and attach it right there. The paper clip will give it a little bit of weight at the bottom. It will also hold this all together. Now, A and B, these flaps, what you're going to do is you're going to fold one of the flaps towards you, and then you're going to fold one of the flaps away from you. So I'm going to do A towards me. Again, you try and fold it as straight as you can on the dotted line. Then I'm going to take B and I'm going to fold it away from me to the back. Okay, now A and B, you're going to lift them back up and try to get them so that they rest right around horizontal like that. They can droop a little bit. That's okay. But you want to have them folded so that they're about there. This is what your end product will look like. And when you're ready, you can just go up somewhere high and let it go and watch it spin. Just like our helicopter seed from the maple tree. So thank you so much for joining me here and we will see you next time. Have a good one. Okay scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.